mask on it. He did the old swipe and grab. Hmm. Oh, God, you just can't have anything nice in bass fishing anymore. It all look good on film, the strike. Until the lure comes flying out. There's a good one. Man, he short lined me. Let me put my talon down here. I hit the wrong button. Let's see if I can get him in here. Now he's got a mouth full of hooks. Ah. But there's a nice bass on the minnow. And he short lined me too, which he kind of scared me. Which had I probably, if I'd have been looking, I probably would have jerked it away from him. The way he bit it. Nice bass. Well, that's two strikes so far on the topwater bait, so we're we're one for two. So let's see if we can't catch some. Oh Lord, look at them all on my depth finder. I got that one though. <sighs> Look at them all on my depth finder out here. You got it sideways. Well, we're just gonna boat flip him because he's really got it. Now he ate it the correct way. He got it sideways in the mouth. There, I'm gonna see if I can throw him back and see if I can get another one. There's a good one. Watched him come out from underneath that dock and get it. The new Arashi wake bait. fish and that fish you can see he was kind of he was back underneath the dock and you can see, see he was kind of right there where the support post come down in that bush a nice fish probably a male garden but I'm throwing the new Arashi wake bait and this bait's pretty cool. You can see it's got the same thing, just like the other Rashi baits has, a self-rotating line tie right here on the side. You can see how it rotates. Also got the hooks, rotated hook hangers to where you can add bigger hooks. And this is the new wake bait. It's brand new for eye cast. And this bait really, really cast real well. And I'm throwing it here on a six foot eight, this is a loose jerk bait rod. You can see it's got a lot of tip. It's a real fast tip rod. We've got it matched up with a seven to one BB1 Pro Reel with 20 pound mono. And as you can see, I'm making these casts. And now I can see a big white spot back under there, It'd probably come off a of bed. But as you can see, this bait really moves a lot of water. And that's what we're doing. We're fishing, fishing this thing, kind of running it around, throwing it around all this shallow cover and throwing it back up under this stuff and just making a wake. As you can see, it really humps up the water and makes a lot of disturbance. So, let's see if we can catch another one. Golly. Oh, man. That's one thing about a lot of times this time of year. Like that was the third cast I'd made at that little isolated bush. And, and a lot of times when that fish is on a bed, you know, I've been trying to make multiple casts at these isolated targets, and that was the third cast I'd made. And a lot of times that fish is down there on the bed, and the first time that you throw at it, you know, he kind of gets interested in it. The second time, he gets a little more aggravated, and it took three or four casts around that bush before I ever got that fish to, I made that fish actually mad enough to come out and strike that bait. And that little bait, 
wiggling and rattling over the top of the head. Finally, you know, this time of year, those fish want to get, wanted to get out of there, and he finally got mad at it and ate it. But that's one thing about this time of year. When you come to a good area, a good bush or whatever it might be, whether you're throwing the waking crank or you're flipping, a lot of times make multiple casts at a target because a lot of times if a fish is on a bed, if he's not real aggressive, you can kind of get him, aggravate him into wanting that bait out of his area and finally making him bite. Good Lord. And he hit it hard. He hit it so hard, it scared me to death. I wasn't ready for that. He got that wake and crank all in his face. But that's one thing about a wake bait. It's a, a really good bait at a lot of different times of the year. You know, we're fishing it here around the spawn and you know, we're throwing it around these shallow bushes and flats and places where these fish are spawning. But one thing about a wake bait, it's a good bait at a lot of times in the year. You know, you can fish it around shallow cover, you can fish it over grass, you can fish it around boat docks. Um, and I think a lot of times a, a wake bait is a good bait, especially when you'll have times when fish will come up and swipe at a topwater bait and they just don't want to break the surface. And this bait kind of really runs a little bit, just almost subsurface. It runs on the surface. I think there's some times you can take this bait and you can fish it around stuff and especially in the pre-spawn, right before the fish go on the beds and even post-spawn like we're fishing it now. And, you know, you can be, you can catch a lot of fish on it a lot of different times of year in a lot of different ways. I really like it too in the fall when the fish get back real, real shallow on flats and say you're trying to throw little shallow running crankbaits or lipless baits or things like that and they're digging in the mud a lot of times and I, you can take a wake bait a lot of times and fish it over in that real skinny water and catch those fish. You know, and with this wake and crank, you know, you can kind of fish it a couple different ways. You can kind of keep it up like I'm doing here and kind of bulge in the water with it or you can kind of fish it faster to where it just barely goes under the water and makes a little more of a ripple. So it's really kind of a versatile bait. You can fish it a lot of different times in the year, spring, summer, fall, and really a good bait. I think you're gonna, I think you're gonna be really like this one. Like I said, it's got the, it's got the self-rotating line tie, just like all the Arashi series. It's got the rotated hook hanger, so you can actually upsize your hooks and these hooks not get tangled with each other. And they've got several new colors this year, plus all the ones from last year. So I think this is gonna be a really good bait. I'm already very impressed with it. It's very, very heavy. It casts very well. As you can see, it, I don't have any problem underhanding it around these shallow bushes and grass. And that's one thing I like about it. It's easy to cast, you can throw it a long way. I can, it's easy to throw under stuff or you can overhand make long cast on flats. And uh, that's one thing I like about it. It's real easy to keep on top of the water as you can see. I'm just barely reeling it, making a V, making a wake with it. Check us out at wired2fish.com.